is the boat terminal of uh, Zurich. It's all pretty big. What a cool city, guys. I'm gonna leave in about an hour. I wish you could have stayed some more, but that's not gonna happen right now. So yeah, this was my quick introduction to the city. I love it, truly. Sad to leave this country. Sad to leave. Huh? Well, gotta leave at some point and after all there's still very nice weather in Bulgaria nice cars here the city has a lot of wealth it's stunning people are modest about it but you can see that they have big money spent the way they dress the cars with some cars it's a big banking city not too many young people though not too many it's a bit of a I don't know I had a feeling in the whole country that's mostly just for uh, 50 plus people who've made their wealth are in business whatever it's not like there's a whole student crowd or anything of the sort it's so quiet a few people my age but uh, still it's glamorous and nice to see cool Audi here like I wish I knew some people who could show me around like it's not always nice to do these things on your own you know makes it a bit uh, different if you know people I was looking to uh, take a train to Milan, fly back from there. The, uh, the plane from Milan Bergamo is 86, or sorry, 30 euros, which is okay. And uh, you can't get into um, Italy right now if you've been to Bulgaria. If you come from Switzerland, you can, so I could go. But then the, uh, I already booked my train to Basel, where I'm flying from tonight, back to Sofia. That train ticket was 30 euros. So I'd have to see that as a loss. Pay 80 euros for the train to Milan, which is crazy, even though it's to the Alps, it would be very cool. It's a lot of money. And then I don't even have a hotel there in Milan, even though I've been. I'd like to see the lakes, like Como, whatever. But uh, I'm not gonna rush. Like, it's time to slow down. Time to chill out. Meeting someone in Sofia tomorrow. I'm gonna just relax because that's uh, the most important. No need to rush. I've, I've done so much rushing in my travels that. It is time to slow it down a bit right now. 
Like it would be cool to just hop on a train through the Alps right now to Milan. But it's gonna cost me like 200 bucks all in total. Unless I'm gonna... 300. Unless I'm really gonna skimp. Stay in hostels, whatever. I don't know. I don't know. Don't think right now is the right time. Deserves another trip. So also I wanted to see Lugano, which is on the... Uh, you know, border of Switzerland with Italy. It's like an Italian type of town where people drink like cappuccino or whatever on a piazza. Beautiful town, should be amazing right now. But I don't have a Lugano wallet because a hotel costs you 150, 200 euros for a night, which is insane. So I'd have to pass Lugano quickly as well. And I just don't want to do that, it's enough. Want to see Lugano, have a cappuccino, and not rush, 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 like... You know, from Milan I'd fly back Sunday night, but tonight I'll fly back from Basel, it's Friday night. And, uh... That's how it's gonna be done. I always try to find ways to extend my trips, even though They've already been booked, confirmed, whatever. And uh, right now I'm just not gonna do that. Drei nach Basel SPD und wünsche Ihnen eine angenehme Reise. Nächster Halt Basel SPD. Gönnen Sie sich eine Auszeit. Gerne heißen wir Sie im SPD Restaurant willkommen. The SPD Train Crew welcomes you on the Intercity 3 to Basel SPD and wishes you a pleasant journey. Next stop Basel SPD. Treat yourself to a break. We are pleased to welcome you in the SBB restaurant. Okay, back in Bulgaria. Time to drive home. And it's been an exhausting trip. A very nice one. But one upper. Full of hikes and impressions. Good food, good jokes and whatnot. <laughs> 